G'day guys, so we've had a fair bit going on, so I'll just uh, let you know how it's all been tracking. Dylan had to go for a couple of days um, back to another job, you know, being the best tyre in Perth, he, uh, he had stuff to do. So um, he left, it gave me the opportunity too. I, I, I gave him a call, I said, listen, can I put another um, coat of that membrane stuff on? Um, just, you know, I don't wanna be doing this in seven years again, uh, you know, if it leaks through the wall. And he was like, yeah, no worries. So. I, I rolled a whole new coat on both showers and on the floor as well, just just to, in the corners, just to double check so it wouldn't um, it wouldn't go through. Uh, so that was great. And then when he came back, um, he yeah. What what I really like about it is he spends the time to plan it out. So the flooring, where the lines are going to match up, he, he just thinks of everything. And then then you don't end up with like a, a thin 10 mil tile on the edge or up the top or something. So he just moves stuff around and, and plans it out. So it's very important that your tiler. Can, you know, can, can plan it out and, and get that sorted. Uh, he started on the ensuite first, got the floor down. Um, that, that's on our me, me and Kylie's ensuite. Got the floor down, got all that sorted. Then moved on to the um, to Lulu's uh, little ensuite as well. Got, just got the floors down, and then um, so after the second day when he he tiled our bathroom with the green tiles, we were about I don't know maybe a box short of this or box and a half short of these green tiles, and he, he sort of tiled on a level up so it was just this bit missing down the bottom so uh, I think Kylie had a stressful night trying to think oh, what if we can't get any, any more of these tiles you know what are we going to do we have to wait and sort of thing so she rushed around on the following day to all these different places and had to go to the you know Frio warehouse or something so they had them in stock which was super lucky so um, but he worked out yeah how many we needed and we, we got them all so he can continue on so yeah and then he just kept going on um, with the tiling and stuff um, you can tell a great tile is how they drill the holes, you know, around the taps and everything. All the tap holes and stuff are just, just perfect, you know, instead of these guys cutting square holes because they don't have any hole saws and stuff. So that was, that was really good. Um, yeah, once you got the grout, grout done, all sorted, um, yeah, it really popped. We used grey grout on the, the pink and the green tiles and then white on the walls and grey on the floors. So yeah, it just looks really good. It's going to look great with the um, brass, brush brass tapware that uh, Kai's chosen, so that will be good. Kai's been organising the built-in robes, um, they're, they're just glass white, and the guys called up and said, hey, listen, we've had a cancellation, this was like at one o'clock in the afternoon, can we come and do, do yours? And I was like, yeah, well, okay, just get it done, at least we don't have to wait again. So it wasn't holding up anything, so they, they came and installed the, um, the big white um, walk-in robe, or not the built-in robe, I should say, and we're going to put some of those um, alpha storage or something inside those hanging hang -in shelves and stuff. Then the flooring needed to be done because um, that, cause that used to be my old office and Alfini and Robin rolling around on their chairs, it's just sort of, you know, worn out the floor in, in a couple of spots. So I rung around, there was just no one who could do anything till after Christmas, so um, I needed to get it sorted. Um, so, and also in the in, in Lula's room, because we took the, the um, built-in robe out, there was a, um, you know, a, a patch in the ceiling, but also we took off the the skirting, the, the cornices, we took those off because we weren't sure, you know, it's better to replace the whole thing than trying to get them something to replace. So I remembered oh, three, four years ago, I went to a customs house in Forestfield and he had the most, it just looked, you know, it looks like a standard house, nothing standout features, but inside he, he had the most expensive cornices I've ever seen. Um, big, big cornice piece, center pieces in the center ceiling and stuff. And it worked out he worked for a, a ceiling company in Perth. Um, and so he had all this great stuff. So. I went round uh, to his address and then I, I, I searched out his number and gave him a call and said, hey, mate, you better help me. I need to get this cornice. I don't know what sort it is. Are you able to see if you could sort that out for me? Um, and so I left a piece on his windscreen and then two days later he called up and said, yeah, I've got those, those two lengths for you. And he, and he came and dropped it off. So that was great. And then when he dropped it off, he said to me, hey, if you want someone to put it up, let me know. And I said, oh, I've got a ceiling. I've got Titan maintenance coming in, in a, you know, a week and a half's time. So he could probably do it. And he said... So he was like, no worries. But then I thought, if I could get that um, ceiling all patched up, because they've got that blowing insulation, horrible stuff. So every time the east leaves blow, all that stuff would come down into that bedroom. So what I didn't want is sand the floor back, put the beautiful varnish down, and then that stuff falls on top of it. So I called him up. I said, mate, we'd, yeah, that'd be great if you could come and, and help me out. So he just came out, patched it all, smashed it up, put all the um, skirtings on. Just, just looked amazing. So that means the whole room was sealed now, so nothing's going to fall down. And then, then I just got my belt sand around there. Now, obviously, I don't know what I'm doing, so I sanded it out and I chopped, chopped it out a little, a few spots, but it, it, it worked out all right. So sanded it all, um, vacuumed it, dusted it, and then I put the first coat down. It was looking pretty sweet, pretty happy myself. Um, second coat, I sanded it back again. Second coat, 
Um, I used the same brush, but I did clean it, but it was just a bit sticky. And so I ended up with all these little brush marks when, when I'd finished. And so I, I should have done a new brush or, or one of those nap mops things that they use. So I sanded it back again. I've got, I've got this map mop thing that, that you're meant to use for these floorings. And I brought a brand new tool, uh, brand new paintbrush, a good one. So I started with this paintbrush and the, the bristles kept coming out. Like they just fall out and then you've got this you know, black line line in your, in your stuff. So it was annoying. About, I don't know, seven or eight pieces came out. It was so frustrating trying to get an edge on. Then you've got to pick that up and do it again. And meanwhile, the thing's drying. And then I've got this um, map thing, or you know, mop thing just going back and forth. Yeah, it's all going great. And then halfway through the job, all the bits of stuff started coming out, like bits of felt and everything. And it all started going onto the flooring. So I was like, oh, I was meant to be finished, you know? And so you could just see it all, it was so bad. And then I just had to sand it back again. I bought another paintbrush, like a better, better quality one, especially for wood. And that only lost about three bristles, so that was all right. I'll show you around, tiling's all finished. Uh, Titan Maintenance is coming in today. He's gonna do all the ceilings for us and, and hang all those up. And I've just got to pop that rain head through the ceiling so, so it comes out, you know, line that up. And then um, then the painter can come next week, but I've got, yeah, still got a lot of cleaning up to do and stuff like that. All right, guys, I'll show you now. Okay, guys, I'll just take you inside now, um, show you the grand reveal. So look at that, eh? This is the um, the main bathroom. The floor looks amazing. You know, all the walls. So there are our lights that are coming out of the wall and the power points, the taps and everything. Okay, that's that green, green wall that we're talking about, the tiles. So I've got to figure out where the shower's coming out here. So we've got a rain head shower as well for the second tap. All the tower rails and everything, so the gold thing but yeah, you just see the finish it's just everything's just amazing you know these are for my controllers for the rin iron and stuff like that and another power point for a heater maybe in the future and this is that yeah, this is that blowing insulation you just see it sitting up there it's horrible stuff so that's what i didn't want to happen is this stuff blowing in and and falling down onto my brand new floor that i've just varnished i'll show you that floor you can give me your thoughts and criticisms about that so here it is so Here's the flooring. You can see, you know, it's got a bit of a bit of marks and you know, a bit of a hair there. A bit frustrating, but all in all, that's not too bad for a plumber, I think. You know, so a few a few paint marks and everything. Here's that new uh, the cupboard that we've got installed for the, all the clothes and everything. So yeah, really nice, just nice and white. Not a mirror this time. Window, seen that before. Okay, here are the the main bathroom or the, the little ensuite. So all these tiles are individuals that he's stuck on there, mate. Really hard, look at them out. Look how straight and beautiful it is. It's done such a good job, you know. And the cut around the taps and everything. That's how, that's how you gotta do it, mate. That's a real tile. So, look at that. So the, the, I've gotta get the flooring down, the ram board down on the floors this morning. Um, and so the guys can put the ceiling up, um, yeah, today. This morning so that'll be good to get that sorted and then we can start getting the paint done on that so anyway so yeah worked out so good thanks for watching and uh, we'll keep you updated so keep Australia beautiful catch you later